Silicon Valley is the world stage for tech and innovation. So much of what we do and think is shaped by the brilliant minds in this corner of America who present us the future before it actually happens. Apps play a big part in how we communicate, and from that is a huge amount of data that knows where we are, how we're spending, and what we'll be doing next. The major apps are in the US and also in China, where one of the lead players in that market is WeChat, with over 1.2 billion active monthly users. You use WeChat to message friends, pay bills, book plane tickets, order takeout, crowdfund startups, donate to charities, and much more. With the ability to anticipate our future behaviors, the data generated by this app and others streamlines the experience so that what we see on our timeline is likely to reflect what we're seeking. Knowing when and where consumers are buying offers huge value when organizing the supply chain. For example, it's much easier to get your hands on a winter jacket in Beijing than it would be in Hainan, a tropical island down south. Growing the domestic economy here will lean on data more and more. In 2020, the pandemic put pressure on the export-heavy Chinese economy, so manufacturers began to pivot to the local consumer market, which also happens to be the biggest in the world. Using search trends from Alibaba, another Chinese brand, manufacturers are able to see what most users are looking to buy. One toothbrush manufacturer responded to that information by adding electric devices to its line and as a result posting a 30% increase in domestic sales. Here's a flip side. For all the convenience, users are more and more concerned by how their data is used and resold. But it's a vicious cycle. Algorithms reflect our individual tastes, but they also pre-select what we're seeing and thus what we purchase. And the more that happens, the more data we generate again. The China Current will be following this story on tech and trends, but also the trust we deserve from the brands and platforms we subscribe to. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.